Barakatay Yahua, Barakatay Yahua Shai, Kaholoyim La Yahua, Bahasham Yahua Shai, Barakaha Kodash, which means all praises to Yahua is the name of the Heavenly Father, Bahasham is in the name. Yahua Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. Barakaha Kodash means in the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth, the only way you can worship the Father and the Son. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, salutations to all you brothers preaching the gospel and truth and in sincerity, always in charity. And um, just sitting here meditating and um, as you can see, the uh, the name or the title is called The Spirit Demands Us to Grow, you know, and we're just meditating on this knowledge and, 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 and uh, the, the matter of fact, before I get that scripture, this is, um, I mean, that definition, so like before I get that definition, let me get this scripture. This is uh, Romans 11 and 33. Oh, the depth of the riches, both of the wisdom and knowledge of the Most High. How unsearchable are his judgments and his ways past finding out. So it says, oh, the, the depth of the riches, both of wisdom and knowledge, man. In the book of Habakkuk, this is the book of uh, Habakkuk, the second chapter. And... The 14th verse, it says, for the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai as the waters cover the sea. So, you know how deep the sea is, man. Matter of fact, let's get a uh, Sirach. Um, is it 14? Um, it's not 15. It's 24. Salaki. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 24. And um, twenty-four. Sirach 24 and 24. It says, faint not to be strong in the Lord, that he may confirm you, cleave unto him. For the Lord Almighty is power alone, and besides him there is no other Savior. He filleth all things with his wisdom as Pison and as Tigris in the time of new fruit. So he's comparing it to what? That water once again. He maketh the understanding to abound like Euphrates, and as Jordan in the time of the harvest. He maketh the doctrine of knowledge. So the uh, the, the Pison and as Tigris, those are, 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 are uh, rivers. Those are bodies of water. Um, The Pison... The Tigris is 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 uh the Hidiko according to Genesis. The Pison, because I always get Pison and Gihon mixed up, so just for edification's sake. Uh Genesis 2 and 11. The name of the first is Pison, that is which compasses the whole land of Havilah, where there is gold. So Pison is the Red Sea. You see? So it says he filleth all things with his wisdom as the Red Sea. And as Tigris in the time of the new fruits, he maketh the understanding to abound like Euphrates, another river. And as Jordan, right, the river that, that, that watered the garden in the time of the harvest, that's the river that goes through our land. He maketh the doctrine of knowledge appear as the light and as Gihon, the Nile River, in the time of vintage. The first man knew her not perfectly. No more shall the last find her out for her thoughts are more than the sea and her counsels profounder than the great deep. You see. So 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 like it, as it is written, this is the book of St. John. Seven. And thirty eight. It says, he that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. So this is continual. And, and, and what, do, what does the scripture say? This is the book of Proverbs 11. And um, 25, it says the liberal soul, liberal means freely given, shall be made fat. And he that watereth shall be watered also himself. You see, so we got to continually grow within this thing, man. We got to continually increase in knowledge, which what the water continually fill in our vessel. And when the vessel get filled, where else we going? We, we got to we got to empty it out into other. Matter of fact. Um, uh, um, 
So like you bear with me. This is 2 Kings 4 and 1. Now there cried a certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophets unto Elisha, saying, Thy servant, my husband, is dead, and thou knowest that thy servant did fear the Lord, and the creditor is come to take unto him my two sons to be bondmen. And Elisha said unto her, What shall I do for thee? Tell me, what hast thou in the house? And she said, Thy handmaid have not anything in the house save a pot of oil. Now this oil represents the understanding of the word, just like how the water. These are these are all uh, um uh what's the word these are all parables or these are all you know dark sayings uh, uh that the Lord used what's the word that I'm looking for man the word is right in the tip of my head Salakia. but metaphors the water Yahweh Basham Yahushah these are all metaphors it's verse three then he said go borrow the vessels abroad of all thy neighbors even empty vessels borrow not a few. And when thou art come in, thou shalt shut the door. And it says what? It, uh, you, you, put, you put wine into new bottles. So these are empty vessels that need to be uh, uh, filled. So these are, are, these are um, um, new brothers or, or, uh, coming into the faith that need to be taught, that need to be uh, uh, corrected and learned. And guess what? They poured out all the madness that they, that, that they, that they knew before. So now they're coming as newborn babies. Now they're coming as empty vessels. You see? It says, and when thou art come in, thou shalt shut the door upon thee and upon thy sons and shall pour out into all th those vessels and thou shalt set aside that which is full. So she went from him and shut the door upon her and upon her sons who brought the vessels to her and she poured out. And it came to pass when the vessels were full that she said unto her son, bring me yet a vessel. And he said unto her, there is not a vessel more in the oil state. So just that going back up. Verse two, the latter part, uh, she and she said, thy handmaid have not anything in the house save a pot of oil. So all she had was that little pot of oil, but yet it filled up all those vessels, man. And that's how we must be in the spirit. We start off as that little pot of oil, but we must increase in the spirit. This is the book of um, Second Peter three and 18. It says, but grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, to him be glory both now and forever. Amen. So we are demanded to grow. Now we can get to, the, uh, to that definition. It says an insistent and peremptory request made as if by right. You see? So when you go into that word, it gives you a little bit more understanding. Uh, peremptory, right? It says, especially of a person's manner or actions, insisting on immediate attention or obedience. Insisting on immediate, immediate attention or obedience, man. Down here, law, it says, not open to appeal or challenge, final. And that's exactly what it is, man. We are demanded to grow within this thing. You see, because what do, what, what do we say in uh, the book of uh, St. John, uh, St. John 15, if I'm not mistaken. It's St. John 15 and 1. Yahweh Shah says, I am the true vine and my father is the husbandman. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, you're not growing, you're not producing, he taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it that it may bring forth more fruit. Meaning what? We got to be pruned. We got to be cut. We got to uh, uh, get the impurities off us, man. We got to be put in that fire in order to continually to uh, uh, to produce more fruit. Verse three. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. So we got to con continue to wash ourselves, man. We got to continue to uh, uh, to clean ourselves through the spirit. Continually grow. You know, there's no room for being stagnant. Matter of fact. In the same uh, chapter. This is um, Sirach 24. I'm going to start at 18. It says, I am the mother of fair love, speaking about wisdom and fear and knowledge and holy hope. I, therefore, being eternal, who am given to all my children, which are named of him. Who I should have brought this out in my last lesson. Come unto me, all ye that be desirous of me and fill yourselves with my fruits. 
For my memorial is sweeter than honey and my inheritance than a honeycomb. This is the point. Verse 21. They that eat me shall yet be hungry and they that drink me shall yet be thirsty. Meaning what? You're going to continually uh, 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 pray and ask for understanding of the scriptures more and more, man. You're going to continue to seek after the Lord more and more because you're going to want to find out how to please the Lord more perfectly each and every day, man. It says, he that obeyeth me shall never be confounded, and they that work by me shall not do amiss. All these things are the book of the covenant of the most high power, even the law which Moses commanded for a heritage unto the congregations of Jacob. So this is our heritage, man. And within our heritage, there is no room for contentment. You see? And I'm talking about contentment in the spirit. There is always room to grow. Now, the scriptures tell you, you could be content with your carnal things, be content with a roof over your head, be content with clothes on your back, be content with, you know, with food on your table, you know. But in the spirit, there's no room for that, man. In the spirit, there's always room for, uh, for growth. It's demanded, it's commanded of us. Let's go back down. Sirach 24 and 30. I also came out as a brook from a river and as a conduit into a garden, right? That's that small pot of oil. I said I will water my best garden and will water abundantly my garden bed. And lo, my brook became a river and my river became a sea. So that's what? That's continually uh, growing within this faith. I will yet make doctrine to shine as the morning and will send forth her light afar off. I will yet pour out doctrine as prophecy and leave it to all ages forever. Behold that I have not labored for myself only, but for all of them that seek wisdom you see for all of them that seek wisdom meaning what we are those vessels that's pouring out into those empty vessels this is the book of uh proverbs five and 15 drink waters out of thy own cistern and running waters out of thy own well and the waters is this knowledge our heritage right let thy fountains be dispersed abroad and rivers of waters in the streets let them be only thy own and not strangers with thee. Let thy fountain be blessed and rejoice with the wife of thy youth. So it's going into this knowledge, this word, this understanding that we have, which is ours, you know. So, 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 hey, amen, we got to provide that water. We got to provide that oil. So we got to continually grow in grace and in the spirit of the Lord, you know. So, Lord willing, uh, I hope that was exhorting. I hope that was edifying. You know, that's all I had through the spirit. The water you held by Sham Yahushai for uh, uh, giving me the spirit to do this lesson. You know, I give all praises on the glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Barachah Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, salutations to all you brothers preaching the gospel in truth and in sincerity, always in charity. Shalom.